In this video, I'm going to show you how to install an Android application using Storyboard, uh, starting with our Photoshop file that we're just going to move through Storyboard real quick. Um, here's the design for our app. It's just a three-screen app. There's a button to take us to this main page that we see right now. There's like an About layer, a Sightings layer, and um, I'm just going to turn the visibility off of the ones we don't want to see. We'll just leave the welcome screen as the default view. Um, so that's what we'll see when we do the import. It's going to bring in all the content from the other layers. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go into Storyboard, new file, import, and Photoshop PSD file. We're going to browse for that file. Cranksquatch.psd, that's the one we want. Into a new project, Cranksquatch. Great. Finish. So it's bringing in all of our content. I've sized it to be the same size as the tablet view, which is fairly large. So I'll zoom out here. And um, here we are. That's the welcome screen. Uh, it's called Crank Squatch. It has the welcome layer. And we'll just add the other screens. So I'll do right click, add a screen. Um, let's include the about layer, the menu button layer, the background layer. That's all we need for the next screen. So here it is. And if we expand this view on screen one, uh, you can see the about layer is below the background layer, so you can just change the order in the stack. And if you if you just give this a click, the screen one, you can you can change the name to about screen there. And now all we need is the sighting screen. So right click, add a new screen. You can also give the screen name its name here. So sighting screen. And here, we'll just have the sightings layer and the menu button layer. So click OK, go down. And again, we need to just change the order of the layers here because the menu button should be above the sightings layer. Just click it and drag it up. Whoops, there it is. OK, so here are three screens. And now we'll just start connecting them um, with some screen transitions. So. Here's our button, right click, add an action, and we'll say on press, we want to do a screen fade, and we want to go to the about screen. Perfect. And then for this one, sightings, add an action, on press, we're going to add a screen fade, and we are going to go to the sightings screen. Excellent. And so those two work, and now, all we need to do is get that menu button to work. So add the action again on press, screen fade, and this is going to take us to that main screen, which is called Crank Squatch. And um, this is the duration, how many frames per second, or the linear rate. You can change those if you want to, but uh, all in all, this should be a functioning app. So I'm just going to file, save, and I'm going to click the simulate button here. and. He here is our app running. So we'll try the About button. Great. OK, hit the Menu button. That takes us back. Settings. OK. Great. Everything's working the way we want it to. So now we're ready to export an APK file, which will run Export as a Native Android Application. Great. It'll run on an Android device, so we'll hit Next. And we just look for the project that we're working on, cranksquash.gde. That's us. And I'll go to Next. And in here, you can select um, the option to use your own icons. So I've prepared some. Um, otherwise, the default's just stuck in. But here we've got these little Crank Squatch icon guys. So we'll do that. And now it's exporting this APK file, which is to uh, we're going to use to run on the Android device. If we look in our project folder, Crank Squatch, that's, that's the file that we just exported, .apk. So I'm going to put that on a USB key, and we're going to install it on the Acer A500 and see how it runs. So I've got my USB key in the Acer with the APK file on it, and I'm just going to go to the file manager. There it is in the middle. Give that a press, and I'm going to look for USB storage. So let's see it here. I'll go up a directory, and... There it is at the bottom, USB storage. And we're looking for our APK. And there it is, cranksquatch.apk. So do you want to install? Install. And it's taking all the content from the USB key and application installed. You're done. So you can navigate to your apps and 
Take a look through them for your crank squatch in the second row, close to the end. There it is. And here it is. It's loaded. It looks like it's running okay. We'll try the About page. And that's everything there. That's good. Try the Menu button. We'll take us back. Sightings page. Good. There's everything we're expecting to see. So that's it. That is how you export an APK file from Storyboard and uh, it'll allow you to create your own apps and install them on a tablet. It's an exciting feature and we're excited to see what people are able to do with it. So, thanks for watching.